Sorry, Phil. Uh, well done. Got you a lager. Ah, cheers, mate. It's lovely. So, uh, that's joining the old bill going. Uh, yeah, you know. Lots of paperwork and stuff, really. <laughs> you don't sound that into it. You know, uh, when Ben was with Paul, uh, I weren't that keen. Not because of the, the gay thing. Not, not just because of that. But, uh, we weren't right for him, you know. It's a wishy washy bit. Away with the fairies, you know. That's not homophobic, is it? Same fairies. No, no, not like that, no. But, uh, well, it's, it's different with you. You're good for him. So, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Just uh, being myself. It's working. Anyway, I've, uh, I've been thinking I'm going to pay for Ben to go private, get him back to hearing as soon as possible. Throwing money at it ain't going to help, Phil. I mean, it might, but the doctor reckons there's a chance the operation won't even work. So what then? If it don't work, then it's a bit of no normal for Ben. And for all of us. You're saying Ben might never be out of here again? And I didn't know what was going on. So I grabbed the knife. It was self-defence. Really, I had no choice. The trial's in about seven weeks. I can't believe they're still trying to charge me with murder. Let's hope there's some real justice. Let's hope life really does mean life for someone like you. What? You both know the truth. <laughs> 